everybody say National Parks. National, National Parks. Parks. And everybody say Happy Birthday. Happy, happy Birthday. birthday. We are not building this country of ours for a day, Teddy Roosevelt said. It is to last through the ages. When he went camping in Yosemite, he called these 2,000-year-old sequoia trees a temple grander than any human architect could possibly build. Earlier this summer, Michelle and I visited Yosemite with our daughters. We came here to celebrate the National Park Service's centennial and to be part of our storied American tradition of conservation and preservation. The biggest challenge we're going to face in protecting this place and places like it is climate change. And as we look ahead in the coming years and decades, rising temperatures could mean no more glaciers at Glacier National Park, no more Joshua trees at Joshua Tree. Rising seas could destroy vital ecosystems in the Everglades and at some point could even threaten icons like the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. President Obama has reestablished American leadership in taking action on climate change. One of the first things he did when he took office was sign a, an executive order directing the federal government to take action on climate change by reducing emissions, but also by adapting how we manage national parks and national forests and refuges to future climate change. I think national parks were originally set aside mostly because of their scenery. They were beautiful places to visit. At the same time, increasingly these parks are becoming important natural preserves. They are becoming uh, refuges of a sort for any number of animal and plant species. So the more protected land we have, uh, the better our natural environment will be, the better condition it will be in. National parks like Yosemite National Park were set aside very deliberately for you know, protecting the environment, protecting the animals that live here. And Yosemite National Park is one of the first places that was set aside for protection. So to, so to have the president come and visit here just reinforces that importance of protecting the land. The beauty of the national park system is it belongs to everybody. It is a true expression of our democracy, a place where we connect with each other and to connect to something bigger than ourselves. What an incredible idea. What a worthy investment. What a precious thing we have to pass on to the next generation. Let's make that happen. All right. So who's going to help me up now? Oh. 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 Oh.